global oil prices continue to climb on the back of the Ukraine crisis escalating. The number of refugees fleeing the Russian invasion has reached one and a half million. That's according to the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. The agency's head, Filippo Gra- Grandi, described this as the fastest moving refugee crisis seen in Europe since the end of World War II. Grandi also told Reuters that most refugees at the moment are linking up with friends, family, and other connections already living in Europe. On to some updates on Filipinos in Ukraine. As the DFA says, around 21 Filipino seafarers working at the MVS Breeze from Ukraine will be arriving tomorrow via a Philippine Airlines flight. The seafarers were able to enter Moldova from Ukraine and were transported to Romania on March 4. Another group of seafarers, composed of 13 out of the 31 crew members of Star Helena, crossed the Moldova border on March 6. They are currently awaiting repatriation. Meanwhile, U.S. payment firms Visa and MasterCard announced that they are suspending operations in Russia over the Ukraine invasion. And they are the latest in a growing number of financial and technology companies that have suspended Russian operations. Visa says that within days, all transactions initiated with Visa cards issued in Russia will no longer work outside of the country. Meanwhile, Visa cards issued outside of Russia will no longer work within the country. And over the weekend, Russia has declared a partial ceasefire to allow humanitarian corridors out of the Ukrainian cities of Mariupol and Volnavaka. This was confirmed by Russia's defense ministry.